Now to the North Bay and the protest on the Golden Gate Bridge. It began early this morning and officials closed both northbound and southbound lanes for hours. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard joins us live with the latest. Cornell, we were with you as those lanes finally reopened several hours ago. Yeah, Julian and Kristen, uh, what a difference a few hours make. As you can see behind me, the Golden Gate Bridge is open, but you know, a lot of folks wishing they had work from home today because this was definitely a commute. They will never forget one for the record books for sure. Here's what it looked like earlier today. Monday morning's commute quickly turning into a Carmageddon nightmare after pro-Palestinian protesters blocked both lanes of the bridge around 8 o'clock this morning. The demonstration closing the span completely for hours, leaving many drivers confused and frustrated. Traffic was backed up for miles on Highway 101 into the city, into places like Mill Valley, Corte Madera. And emotions were definitely spilling over when uh, motorists confronted protesters on the bridge and other people say they were just trying to get to medical medical appointments listen hey, you get out of the road. Road. you're being the I'm heading into the city for a medical procedure that involves some stem cells which are frozen and are now defrosted and waiting for me. I was supposed to have them put in at 9 a.m. this morning, so they have to get in today, so I have to get there. How are you feeling about all of this? I'm feeling pretty frustrated. You know what? I believe in the right to protest and I believe in the right to express your point of view, but I think causing this type of disturbance to thousands and thousands of people isn't the right way to go about it. I'm supposed to be at UCSF at 9.30. I left San Rafael at 8.30, and surgery department said I have to be there by 1 or I have to reschedule. Oh, no. And I'm supposed to have colon surgery. Mr. O'Donnelly uh, was hopeful that he could make his medical appointment today. The CHP says they arrested about 20 people here on the bridge, allowing it to reopen by late morning. We're live on the Golden Gate Bridge. Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. All right, Cornell, thank you.